In this video, I'll show you how to import a parcel from the USA to the UK. If you've got something to collect anywhere in the United States or the rest of the world, then watch on to ensure you don't make any costly mistakes. The first question to ask yourself is, what am I shipping? And this will tell you three things straight away. What mode of transport it will need, the three main ones being express parcels and pallets, air freight and sea freight. You're not going to want to send a car as a parcel and you're going to waste a lot of money if you send a pair of shoes by sea freight. The second thing this will tell you is how it's going to have to be packaged. For example, if you want to send some clothes from America to the UK, you know that they'll need to be boxed up but probably won't require the same level of protection as a computer would. If you're having some artwork collected, a sculpture perhaps, then you know you'll need to carefully crate it and protect it from shock and impact damage. How it's packaged is very important because ultimately you'll be paying for the dimensions and the weight of the whole thing, including the packaging and the item inside. The final thing is whether you'll need any additional licenses to move the goods between the USA and the UK. Licenses aren't needed for the majority of goods, but if you intend to send things like chemicals, medicines, plants or food, then make additional checks first. Even some artwork and technology that could be used for military purposes, drones for example, can require licenses. Watch our video on harmonised tariff codes to find out how you can check if your goods require a licence. Now that you know what you're shipping and how you're going to send it, you need to get a price. For parcels and pallets being imported from the USA and coming back to the UK, you're going to need to use an international courier network. If you're based in the UK, you've got a couple of options. Use a courier directly. Your local post office is out of the running because they don't even offer import services. Or use a discount courier website. If you haven't got an account set up with a courier direct, then you'll be paying tariff, and that's a bad idea. Using a courier comparison site like Parcel Broker will not only give you access to deep discounts reserved for high volume shippers, but it also gives you a chance to pick and choose which carrier you want to book with. Using a USA owned carrier like FedEx or UPS is going to be a sensible thing to do. However, there are other global networks with great services like DHL who can offer a fast and cost-effective delivery. All of these networks are available to book instantly at Parcel Broker. For air freight and sea freight, you'd need to get a bespoke quote. Apart from the obvious things such as the USA pickup address, UK delivery address and contact numbers, you're going to need to complete a customs declaration as the goods will be crossing international borders. These customs documents tell customs what it is you're shipping, why you're shipping it, what it's used for and how much it's worth. It's used by UK customs to calculate how much duty and VAT to charge the recipient for the USA import. Parcel Broker makes this step straightforward by assisting you with the step-by-step -step creation of the customs declaration. And in most cases, this document is sent electronically to customs as soon as your booking is completed. You can find out more about customs declarations and what you'll need by clicking the link in the description on our how to complete a customs document video. Because you're the importer of the parcel that's coming from the USA, you're not going to be able to physically touch that parcel until it arrives in the UK. Therefore, it's up to you to make sure that the sender has first of all packaged the goods adequately for transport, but they also need to be made aware of the labelling requirements. Some carriers will generate the shipping labels and bring them along when they collect the parcel, but some will need the sender to print and attach labels prior to the USA collection. Therefore, it's up to you to make sure your sender has followed the instructions to avoid a failed pickup attempt. Here at Parcel Broker, our system will always let you know the labelling requirements for each carrier and provide you a way to forward your documentation to the collection point in the USA. Once the shipment has been collected, you'll want to keep a close eye on the tracking. It can take as little as 48 hours for a parcel to reach the UK from the USA on an express parcel service but customs processing can cause delays. 
If there's an issue, this will usually be reflected in the tracking first. And you can then check with the shipping agent if there are any issues with the customs paperwork. Once the goods have been cleared by customs, the parcel will continue to its final delivery destination. If the shipment has attracted any import duty or tax, this will be collected by the delivering courier, either prior to delivery or shortly after. If you're a VAT registered business, you can reclaim the import VAT element using a C79 form. See the links in the description for more information about reclaiming import tax. Well, we hope this video has been informative and helped you with your USA to UK import. We're Parcel Broker and we want you to save money sending. Visit our website today to access amazing discounts on the world's greatest courier services.